In the quaint town of Tarascon, France, in the fateful year of 1956, a sense of foreboding looms over the local church. Jax, a young and unsuspecting boy, commences his routine chores under the watchful eye of Father Noiry. However, an eerie disruption disrupts the tranquility when a shattering glass heralds an otherworldly presence. Alarmed, Jacques and Noiret investigate, only to confront a malevolent force that defies explanation. Father Noiret, propelled into the air and consumed by flames, becomes a vessel for the sinister spirit of Valak. Casting a dark shadow over the sacred sanctuary, terrified, Jacques escapes the unholy encounter, forever haunted by the supernatural manifestation that unfolded beneath the church's hallowed arches. Having sought solace in Italy following her harrowing encounter with Velak, Sister Irene, portrayed by Tisa Farmiga, finds herself entrenched in a new sisterhood. Her bond with the rebellious sister Deborah, played by Stormred, becomes a source of support amid the haunting memories. In the hallowed halls, Whispers of past encounters with Valak circulate among the nuns, a testament to the pervasive fear that lingers. Though unmentioned by name, Irene's ominous connection to the malevolent force remains an unspoken truth, casting an eerie shadow over her renewed commitment to faith as she confronts the spectral remnants of her troubled past. In the secluded expanses of France, Maurice, known affectionately as Frenchie and portrayed by Jonas Bloquet, navigates life at a boarding school where he forges a deep bond with the compassionate school teacher Kate, played by Anna Popowell. His protective instincts extend to Kate's daughter, Sophie, shielding her from the cruelty of her peers. The school's austere atmosphere is governed by the stern Madame Laurent, a formidable presence with a sorrowful past mourning the loss of her son Cedric. Her timid's the rigidity of the institution, Maurice's warmth and resilience become a beacon of kindness illuminating the lives of those around him. Kretchen in the neighboring town, an unsuspecting child on a routine delivery becomes the prey of a demonic malevolence. The ominous presence closes in, culminating in a chilling encounter with the sinister Valak. The child's vulnerability is brutally exploited as Valak emerges, lifting them by the neck in a macabre display before a fatal, bone-chilling snap. Irene has a dream that she is following Maurice down an alley, where he appears demonic and possessed, calling to her for help. Afterward, Irene is summoned to meet with Cardinal Conroy and other church elders. She is told about the death of Father Noret, along with several other church officials have been found dead under mysterious and horrifying circumstances. Irene realizes Valak has returned, but when she is asked to investigate, she initially refuses. When she asks about Father Burke, Irene is told that he has passed away from cholera. Irene decides to go and is accompanied by Deborah, who explains her agenda for wanting to help. In the school's unforgiving corridors, Sophie, the target of schoolgirl cruelty, encounters a deceptive olive branch from her tormentors. Feigning remorse, they lure her to a secluded chapel, promising a game to mend fences. Inside, a mosaic of a goat becomes an unwitting focal point, with ominous warnings of the devil's arrival if Sophie averts her gaze. As sunlight casts an eerie glow, the goat's eyes turn a malevolent red, the vindictive girls, betraying their facade, lock Sophie inside, where a fleeting vision of Valak terrorizes her. Maurice, the valiant defender, intervenes, scolding the perpetrators and liberating Sophie. Amidst the shadows, the specter of Valak leaves an indelible mark, its influence lingering as Sophie seeks solace in the comforting embrace of her mother, Kate. Undeterred by the malevolent forces that haunt them, the intrepid noons Irene and Deborah embark on a journey to Avagnon. Seeking answers amidst the grandeur of the Palouais des Papes, they consult a knowledgeable librarian about the relentless entity. Revelations unfold as they discover Valak's pursuit of an elusive artifact known as the Eyes, once belonging to Saint Lucy, the resilient martyr who defied death by fire. The librarian weaves a grim narrative, suggesting that the victims may be descendants of Lucy, and the Eyes were last traced to a monastery now reincarnated as the very boarding school where darkness lurked. Armed with newfound knowledge, the nuns brace themselves for a perilous confrontation with the malevolent spirit and its unholy quest for St. Lucy's sacred relic. In the eerie stillness of the nocturnal streets, Irene's path intersects with an ominous newsstand, where supernatural forces manipulate periodicals to craft a ghastly portrait of Valak. As she cautiously approaches, the ambient lights flicker, casting an unsettling aura. Suddenly, the malevolent entity materializes, 
launching a vicious assault that renders Irene unconscious. Enterprising and caring, Deborah discovers her fallen companion and swiftly procures medical assistance. Upon regaining consciousness, Irene, shaken by the spectral encounter, confides in Deborah. In the quiet aftermath, she reveals tender recollections of her late mother, sharing fragments of cherished memories that linger like fragile echoes of a distant past. The bond between Irene and Deborah deepens as their shared vulnerabilities intertwine in the shadowy tapestry of their supernatural odyssey. Within the confines of the school, Sophie's perception of Maurice undergoes a disquieting transformation, mirroring his awareness of a malevolent force. Simultaneously, Madame Laurent, compelled by maternal concern, ventures into the chapel to probe Sophie's unsettling experience. The apparition of her deceased son, Cedric seemingly beckons her. However, the benevolent facade unravels and Valak exploiting the vulnerability ensnares Madame Laurent in a lethal trap. The echoes of Cedric's illusion dissipate as darkness claims yet another victim, leaving the school engulfed in an aura of dread and foreboding, with the demonic presence tightening its grip on both the living and the spectral realms. Irene and Deborah go to the school where they locate the eyes. Valak begins to wreak havoc with the possessed Frenchie, as well as summoning a demon goat to attack the girls. Deborah and Kate end up in the care of the larger group of girls while Irene protects Sophie. The goat chases after the girls and takes the form of a dead Madame Laurent to terrorize them. After attempting to seal the goat off, it impales one of the mean girls through her shoulder before Deborah tries to help her. In the ensuing chaos, the bell tower of the school collapses, but none of the girls are hurt. Maurice recovers and reunites with Kate and Sophie. While Irene is happy to see her friend again, as is Maurice, she looks at him with worry in her eyes. During the credits, Ed and Lorraine Warren receive a call from Father Gordon about one of Valak's hauntings. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching.